Okay, guys, um, I'm not really a poet, but I did write something a few years ago when I was in um, English class. Uh, oh, I hope you like my new glasses. I just got them a few days ago, so I'm still adjusting to it. All right, here goes. Bored and enjoying it. As a first-time mother, you learn quickly life will never be boring again. You also learn to embrace the rare, silent, and boring moments. Life is no longer spontaneous and fun. Although you do learn there's more to life than friends, drama, and excitement, you sometimes miss the freedom of it. Being nine months pregnant is a very stressful time for any mother. The anticipation of meeting your child for the first time is almost too much to bear. I was nervous, as I'm sure every new mom is. With the nurse, Will the nursery be ready? Will he have all of his body parts in the right place? Will I be a good mom? Will labor be quick and painless? It never is. All the questions and worries swarm your mind like bees stinging angrily, causing confusion, confusion and hysteria. My baby shower went well. I had everything I needed for my son's first year, but my nesting urges and hormones told me otherwise. Where's the rocking chair? How can I breastfeed my son if I don't have a rocking chair? I cried to my son's father. The room all set for his arrival. The room is all set for his arrival. I would sit on the floor for hours every day looking over the room. I don't know why, but I felt like something, something's wrong with the room. How can I let him sleep in the room? How can I let him sleep here? The room's painted blue and yellow. Doesn't the color yellow make people angry? A week passes and my perfectly healthy baby boy, Jimmy Raymond Brown IV, is born 8 pounds 6 inches, or 8 pounds 6 ounces, 21 inches, 21 and a half inches long, at 8.36 a.m., November 24th, 2006. My boyfriend and I are ecstatic. We couldn't stop holding him, despite warnings from our family that you'll spoil that baby if you hold them too often. Two days after his birth, we were cleared to go home. I wanted to stay at the hospital because it was safe. Getting home and putting him in the crib, I cried again, realizing we still haven't gotten a rocking chair. A month later, Christmas Eve, I dressed Jimmy up in a Santa suit for a photo shoot. We go to my mom's house to have Christmas ham with the family, visit his father's to exchange gifts, and finally, home to bed, where we put Jimmy down to sleep and put presents under the tree. My son's father has a huge box to read the tag. It's for me. Deciding to wait for morning, we slip into bed. Sitting in my new rocking chair, sipping a cup of coffee while Jimmy checks out his new toys with his father, I'm bored, content, and happy. I look around, seeing the wealth of family, sigh, and slowly sip from the steamy cup. I know the rocking chair won't come in handy because Jimmy wouldn't breastfeed sitting up and I'd continue to have to feed him laying down side by side in the bed. The chair was proof that things don't make the house. Family was all that mattered. Um, yeah, there's a lot of typos. This wasn't a final draft. I didn't find my final draft. But that's it. Hope you enjoyed it.